Yo, what's going on? This is Sam. Welcome to all checking in with you guys. Hope you guys are doing well, doing terrific. Yes, um, I'm excited to do this video because of that. hands down, probably the most requested video that I've gotten from you guys is train, how to train arms. And I think uh, when I did the, uh, the collab with Jeff Nippert, and I mentioned in the video, which I, I'm going to link in the description if you haven't checked the video out, I mentioned in the video that I train arms every day throughout my last all season. And I still do. I try to uh, train as frequent as frequent as possible, even right now during constant spread. And the reason why I did that is because my arms, yes, as most of most of my body parts simply will look during the off season a lot bigger. And once you start constant spread, you start losing the fat, everything is starting to shrink. And I noticed that I lost a lot of size in my arms. So as just like again, like I, as many other body parts that you have, once you strip the fat down, then you see the lagging parts. So I made an admission uh, during the last uh, off season. I mean, constant spread right now, because you're not aware, uh, to make sure I train them every single day. And just to clarify a little bit of that, and because uh, I know I get a lot of, I got a lot of questions. What do you mean train every day? Do you train sore? Do you train, etc. I train every day, meaning I have a specific day that I train my arms every day. I mean, specific training day, train, train arms, and I have the days when I sprinkle a little bit of triceps and bicep workout. It could be a set or two of uh, um, bicep curls. It could be a set of two of some sort of cable tricep extension or any other movement that I'm feeling that day that has, that has not really been tasked that much. So for instance, days when I train, let's say, chest, and uh, I might incorporate a little bit of close grip bench press in there because I can hit my chest and some triceps and I can do or implement a little bit or sprinkle a little bit of bicep curls into that movement per day. So, and I'm gonna go through a little bit of the questions that I posted on Instagram because I told you guys on Instagram, if you don't follow me, make sure you do, that um, I'm gonna be doing this video today and if you have any questions for me, go ahead and put that, put that question uh, response in and I'm gonna ask some of them. So I'm gonna get to that real quick then I'm going to get to the workout and just display what a typical um, arm day looks like for me. Um, this is not scripted by any means, so I'm just going to go off the call and roll through uh, some of the questions that I... This are some of the questions that I got from you guys, I'm not sure if you can see or not. So I'm just going to only going to pick a few. Uh, let's see. Do you count uh, sets from compound movements uh, like back, uh, chest, for arms, no, I do not. I only count sets that are directly towards um, arms and uh, I'm training for that day. I mean, anything else I can sprinkle in that, I, that might indirectly get some sort of stimulation from, it's just you know add that to the benefits of you know frequency or whatever you want to call it. But no, I do not count those. Um, how often do you hit? Uh, if that's not a question. Um, have I ever struggled with arm size like I mentioned before? Yes, I have. Uh, just because when obviously we go all look huge when we have a, I mean, a decent amount of body fat and when we strip all the body fat down, that's when you actually reveal the real size of your arms. So yes, my arm does shrink, so I've battled with that. I've been able to maintain a decent size and I think uh, that's due to me actually giving a lot of time to just, you know, increase the volume, the frequency and the intensity at which I train my arms. Uh, I'm gonna set per week. I directly focus uh, on the arm day. I try to get about uh, 18 sets during the workout, and I try to sprinkle another like about 10, uh, 10 to 12 sets during the week. Uh, so looking at about about 24, about 28 sets uh, to my arms uh, during the week. Uh, uh, what was a good question? How do you often do mixed movements? How often do I mix movements? Uh, not quite often. I try to stick to the basics. Uh, again, arms are one of those things like, you know, uh, you see a lot of videos on Instagram that tell you, oh, do this certain movement to hit this arm, do this certain movement to hit arms. Arms is simple, it's simple movement. Uh, we all have the same uh, muscle. Uh, obviously, our insertions might be different. Uh, some of our people have a higher peak, some of our low insertions and the bicep peaks. So, genetic play um, a, a huge role in how big your arms are. But at the same time, the movements are typically the same. Uh, there's no drastic, you know, uh, movement uh, or movement chart, exercise selection in the movement. I'm not going to talk about exercise, exercise selection in, in a little bit. Are there any exercises for, for arms you found you cannot get a good mind and muscle connection? Um, yeah, um, 
for a while, I feel like bicep curls, uh, barbell curls were just not doing it for me. Um, because I was just trying to like, you know, ego uh, lift uh, barbell curls. And to be honest with you, I haven't done barbell curls in such a long time, just because I feel other uh, bicep movement better. Uh, and now if I do bicep, uh, bicep barbell curls, for instance, I typically push it towards the end of my workout because it allows me to actually go lighter and actually feel the tension as opposed to uh, trying to ego lift and, you know, 185 pounds or something like that. So, uh, show some very superset combo. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> uh, exercise selection and training intensity. Okay. Actually, this is a good segue to what I'm going to talk about. So I'm, I'm just going to talk, again, I'm not going to dive too deep into like, you know, there's tons of questions on here about arms. So apparently it's a huge topic. Exercise selection. So um, the homie, uh, Chris Barrick, actually did an awesome um, research uh, talking about the gl uh, glyhumeral joint. And I'm going to tag the link in the, in the, uh, the in the description, you guys can check that research out. Very detailed, and actually, I, I believe it's published. I might be wrong. Uh, so, I can check that uh, review out if you want to train arms and have that mind and muscle connection and find certain movements or certain places that you can place your arms to feel like you're actually getting the most bang for your buck. Definitely check that research out. In terms of uh, exercise selection, like I said before, you can use any variable, any variation of exercise that you can, that you can find. Or try this, try that. At the end of the day, just like any other selection that you might have for any body part, it all comes down to mechanical tension. And what I mean by that is, if you're trying to do bicep curls, and you're now, let's say, you're tracking your scapula or tucking that elbow back and trying to I mean, get the full contraction of your bicep, uh, it's a, it could be a wasted movement, just the same way, uh, let's say shoulder press, for instance. Uh, let me reverse back a little bit. So for you to get the most bang for your buck to train properly, you need certain things. Obviously, volume is important, frequency is important, and intensity is important. Volume, you want to add or sprinkle as much set as possible throughout your training program to get the most bang for your buck. Uh, to, to add as much volume as possible. If you're doing 10 sets of, um, of arms and you think you're not, it's just not getting uh, the right uh, stimulus that you need, increase the, the volume, find ways to sprinkle arm It could be a leg day, find a way to maybe drop, you know, two, three sets of arms into that. It could be, uh, you know, a back day, and yes, your bicep might be directly, indirectly targeted. Try to add a little bit of arms into that. So just find ways in, um, there's no, there's no tab we'll saying you, can, you can only do legs without arms. Just find a way to add the volume in as much as possible. And obviously the frequency, meaning I I trained as much as many times as possible throughout the week, the frequency at which I'm training. And intensity, then you're gonna add things like drop set, like 21, 21 is meaning you curl from the top, seven, from the bottom, seven, and all the way for range of motion, seven, things like that. So anybody that are trying to train, those three concepts are very, very important. Volume, frequency, and intensity. Once you have those three, it's hard for you not to get the result. And uh, yes, you just gotta find that sort of like, you know, range that works well for you, that uh, you can recover properly with. Um, yes, and I do train when my arms are sore. Sometimes if it's sore, of course, I'm not gonna go any sort of rep range higher than 12. I try to get like, a decent contraction in. Uh, that's what I wanna do maybe three sets of like six to eight. Nice and slow contraction, just to feel a little bit more. But yeah, uh, that's what I got for you, and let's get into what you guys are truly here for. An on day. Problems on problems on problems on problems on problems on problems I solve them. I run through the money, depression be calling. Left on my blessings, I feel like I'm falling. The birdie is back. Tell me I'm garbage. I'm going through something, that's why I ain't calling. Phone and progression is all that I wanted. The phone and affection, I summon and dub it. Cause bitch, I got problems on problems on problems on problems on problems on problems I solve them. I run through the money, depression be calling. Left on my blessings, I feel like I'm falling. The birdie is back. Tell me I'm garbage, I'm going through something, that's why I ain't calling. Phone and progression is all that I wanted. The phone and affection, I summon and dub it. Why you be all in my line about nothing? Why won't you go get you a dollar or something? Don't hang with a nigga who lying for nothing. I see that we different, you riding, I double. I don't do discussions on bragging about hundreds. Don't go 
to your places, I know that they sunken Don't call me your brother, I barely can trust you I talk to a shorty, she bagging the bucket And I'ma need all of my dollars on coping So hand me the money, I divvy the pot I make you all of my people a portion To build them a fortune, I'm flipping the ride I can't be mixy when iffy the vibe And 40 on 50 is really the time Why is you all on my phone like you want me? Like you wasn't pushing the kid to the side I don't know if you bitches are thinking I'm blind Cross on my crosses and doubt on my eyes Done with your efforts, I'm dealing with pressures I know it's a lesson, that's word of the wise Dubbing the mixes, I'm mixing, I know I've been missing I needed some personal time Fuck all the pictures, dimensions, I don't with your digits I mean it, I'm staying inside Cause bitch, bitch I got problems on problems on problems on problems on problems on problems I solve them, I run through the money, the pressure be calling Left on my blessings, I feel like I'm falling The birdie is back, tell me I'm garbage I'm going through something, that's why I ain't calling Phone in progression, it's all that I wanted The phone in affection, I summon and dub it Cause bitch, I got problems on problems on problems on problems on problems on problems I solve them, I run through the money, the pressure be calling left on my blessings i feel like i'm falling the birdie is back tell me i'm garbage i'm going through something that's why i ain't calling phone and progression is all that i wanted a phone and affection i summon and dub it <laughs> I summon and dub it Why you be all on my line about nothing? Why won't you go get you a dollar or something? Don't hang with a nigga who lying for nothing I see that we different, you ride and I dub em. I don't do discussions, on bragging about hundreds Don't go to your places, I know that they sunken Don't call me your brother, I barely could trust you I talk to a shorty, she bagging the bucket And I'ma need all of my dollars on corporate So hand me the money, I divvy the pot I'ma give all of my people a portion To build them a fortune, I'm flipping the ride I can't be mixy when iffy the vibe And 40 on 50 is really the time Why is you all on my phone like you want me? Like you wasn't pushing the kid to the side I don't know if you bitches are thinking I'm blind Cross on my crosses and doubt on my eyes Done with your efforts, I'm dealing with pressures I know it's a lesson, that's word of the wise Dubbing the mixes, I'm mixing I know I've been missing, I needed some person Yo, what's going on? So yes, we just finished an excellent, excellent arm training day uh, Yes, um, that was good, that was fun That was fun training arms by, by itself uh, Definitely one of my favorite body parts to train besides legs Because everything that's weak on me I like to train them and I enjoy training them so yeah, uh, that's a combination of all the sets that we did, uh, the explanation and all that stuff. And so one thing I want to clear though, I want to clarify is the selection of exercise is going to, is going to be different from individual bases and it, 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 dif it different, oh my God, I cannot speak. It's different for me also. Of course, I start for the beginning of the movement, I start with preacher curls. I like to start with uh, that sort of like isolated movement just because uh, when I transition into some sort of like squat crushers or a tricep extension, I feel like uh, my biceps um, have enough pump to almost support my uh my tricep for getting too extended um so i like to do that uh, something i've been doing for uh, since i was in college and i love doing that uh starting with biceps then moving into uh, some sort of tri uh, tricep compound movement um again it depends on the day arm day some days i might be feeling a little bit more instead of uh, starting with preacher curls i'm gonna start with concentrate concentration curls for instance uh instead of uh Squat, uh, squat crushes and my style close close grip bench press depending on how my chest is feeling that day so again the content uh, um behind the concept behind everything i'm that that i did for my arms when i was doing it uh, uh every day is essentially i train them every day if i can get like a set in like i mentioned earlier if i can get a set in good if i can get two sets in great but I still i'm the the goal is not to get caught into the number pre uh, so, so to speak like oh my god i've done uh, 15 sets this week so i'm going to cap it i don't want to do too much no if i feel like i can train arms that day i'm going to train it if it's too sore i might cap it that day and just to get some sort of concentration some sort of, some sort of stimulus going on could be two sets six 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 to eight reps um yeah but i think a lot of people just get so so bound up with the numbers oh that's too much set that's not enough set that's too much set that's not enough set if you get if you want to do arms just one day and you want to cater to say 20 20 20 20 sets on your arm day good and if you can sprinkle 15 sets throughout the weeks throughout throughout the week into your arms uh development training great there is no such thing as i'm not going to count that as a junk set just because your arms something like legs for instance yes because it might get a little too tasking but arms for instance uh the recovery is usually faster than something like legs back even chest even because it's such a small muscle group compared to every everything else in your body so don't try to overstress it too much just like i said in the beginning of the video everything starts with 
um, having uh, the correct mo uh, movement pattern down. Uh, there's no, I mean, there's no need to just jerk in the movement and uh, throwing your shoulder out of place. Tuck your shoulder in, get a nice concentration, get a nice squeeze um, instead of just, you know, just moving the weight. Uh, just any movement that you do. If you don't, if you take anything from this video, um, if you don't take anything from from this video. Take this from this video. For any movement that you're trying to do, and for any muscle group that you're trying to develop, you got to perfect the form. You got to focus on the form because that's what creates the mechanical tension. If you're not creating the mecha right mechanical tension for the right muscle group that you're trying to train, it just tends to become a wasted movement. Anyways, I'm not going to run this um, over more than it needs to. That's uh, the full arm day for you guys. Hopefully, you guys enjoy it. Um, yes, this video better get crushed because I mean, for the amount of questions uh, that I get from this, from 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 how to train arms, how do I train my arms, it better be up there. So, anyways, if you like the video, comment, like, share, subscribe. Uh, let's keep um, the family growing. And by the time this video um, is out, I should be. Uh, I think I'm gonna drop this on Wednesday, and by the time it's out, I should be maybe two days before I'll be at the Olympia, uh, just shooting the shit with Jared, uh, Nick Dompier, uh, Dr. Mike, uh, Isertel, uh, and I'm looking at all my buddy uh, Kofi also. So I'll be vlogging obviously, obviously the whole series also for you guys, for you guys to you know keep that vlog going. Um, yeah, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.